Building with Papa. Okay, I just got my Delta Pro, and I'm going to open it up, unbox it, and take a look at everything. All right, they package it quite nice. Uh, it's the styrofoam around everything. It's pretty good. I have this box first that has all the cords and things in it. And the first thing I take out is the manual, uh, the instructions, and then the other items. They have the cord for your car. It plugs into your cigarette lighter and into the back of the Delta Pro, and it can charge your Delta Pro, there's your USB cable and the power cable. They package everything nicely. I think it's uh, well put together. Now, I go to pull this thing out, man. It is 100 pounds. So I'm glad to see it has wheels so that I can move it around if I need to. has a, a handle on the front, has two handles on the top. That made it easier to pick it up. Then there's a handle on the bottom. You push the button, it comes out, and you can roll this thing around. I think it's awesome. I'm trying to set up a complete system, but I'm paying for all this on my own. So it uh, it's gonna take some time these things are quite expensive, but I do like that they have everything included in in the machine. So you're not uh, trying to figure out everything. Here's the power button. I turn it on, and it's at 29%. That's your power button. Uh, that gray button is for the AC. It, it um, puts power to these 20 amp outlets. That's your 30 amp recreational vehicle, uh, USB-C, USB-A, fast charge, regular one. Uh, it's got everything you would need to do any type of charging that you would want. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this thing charged up to 100% because when you first get them, uh, they come with some charge but you need to charge it to 100% and then drain it back down to zero and then recharge it again. Okay, let's look at the back side of this. Here's the circuit breaker, your power plug, the speed of charge, and then your solar or your car charger that plugs into this area. Then you have uh, external batteries or extra batteries you have port one and port two you need to see my video on the dual fuel generator all right these where the fan vents they're a little loud sometimes but it's not bad all right now i'm going to plug this in and i'm going to use a fast charge you can switch it to either uh 400 watts or I believe it's up to 1800 watts. And I'm going to plug it in and charge it at the high speed charge. I wanna see how fast this thing charges up. It just now shut off at 100%. And it's just under two hours that I had it charging. And it was 29% when I started. Now I have additional cables. I have my power cord plugged into the wall. This is the adapter for the dual fuel generator. And this is the cable that connects to my extra battery. I'm doing something different than what I originally planned. I got the dual fuel generator and not the second battery. Okay, here are two of my CIGS panels, 200 watts each. I just ran a wire inside 
to uh, see what they're going to produce. I have eight panels now. I've got to finish making the frames and then figure out where I'm going to put them all. But let's see how they're operating. Okay. They're producing about 330, 320, somewhere in between there. And sometimes it spikes up higher. I think it's good in input. All right, I'm gonna let this charge up. This is one of my Delta Pros. I have two and I have one extra battery. But with my rack, I plan on getting at three more extra batteries, one for here and two more for this. Everything's quite expensive, so I'm doing what I can. The solar input with two panels is doing well. 